Hi, John Kavakis here again for the Diecast Zone and Legacy Diecast. Uh, we're going to do an unboxing today of Conquest 1962 Starfire convertible. Uh, now, the Oldsmobile Starfire uh, nameplate started in the 50s, and it was always the top of the line, uh, always the most expensive Oldsmobile. Uh, they took a brief hiatus there uh, right at the end of the 50s, but in 1961, they brought it back in convertible form. Just a beautiful car. Uh, and very understated as far as its styling compared to the things that we saw in the 50s. So all the manufacturers took a step back and uh, dechromed a little bit and did away with the fins. Well, Oldsmobile had a winning style in 1961, but in 1962, they improved upon it. Uh, the Starfire had that very unique uh, brushed aluminum side plate on it and uh, it was a successful car. It was a top of the line. 61 was only convertible in 62 they had a coupe and a convertible. The coupe had that kind of pseudo convertible uh, uh, roof line to it and the, convertible, and the convertible was just stunningly beautiful. And Starfires were always marked by the luxurious interior. Very very flashy, very very beautiful interior. So uh, it was a successful car for Oldsmobile. Uh, they bumped the horsepower to 345, considerable amount of horsepower for 1962. Um, and they sold uh, 34,839 coupes and 7,149 convertibles. Uh, so uh, relatively rare convertible and uh, Conquest is just, I believe has knocked this one out of the park, but we're gonna unbox it and take a look. So here's the box. Uh, you know, it's typical Conquest packaging. Uh, it's formidable. Um, it's solid. There's a lot of foam inside. A little bit reminiscent of the old Brooklyn boxes, but maybe with a little bit more room, a little bit more, more care. Um, I like what they've done here as far as the packaging is concerned. It's not overly elaborate. Doesn't get in the way. Um, not quite the same as Brooklyn's new, uh, but it certainly does the job. And so there's a little packet here with the side mirrors in it and antenna. A uh, little card from uh, Route 66 models on how to take care of it. And, uh, and then, of course, it's packed very carefully. Uh, and I love this. I feel like somebody has just taken their time to take care of the model and show it to me. Now, I, I like to handle my, my white metal models with gloves. Uh, I don't have my gloves right now. We're still remodeling our kitchen and everything's packed away. Uh, so I'm just going to be very careful in how I unfold this and how it unpacks and this is the top up model in black with a burgundy interior and as you can see it's just it's just a stunningly beautiful model uh, so let's take a look at it on the turntable i mean the fidelity on this is just incredible uh, the the finish is absolutely flawless it's almost like a clear coat uh, the details are uh, the, they're, they're just stunning. Uh, the grill is black washed, so there's some dimension to the grill. Uh, they've got the badging, just seems incredible. I look at it closely here. Lensing is beautiful. The taillights, the, the, uh, everything is just done superbly. And it's kind of hard to see the interior uh, on the top-up model. I really like top-up convertibles. Uh, but I always regret the fact that I can't see the interior. And the interior on this one is absolutely fabulous. It's re really well picked out uh, with the chrome trim around the seats. Uh, the steering wheel is accurate. You can see the instrumentation. Uh, the, the side door panels are well done. Uh, and then going back to the outside, you, you can see the wheels are just superbly done. Uh, there's a little bit of black wash of the wheels, which really helps out. The white walls are correct for this period the tires are the correct size it's just a stunningly beautiful model now one of the things about conquest models is they've done in very small quantities um, only available throughout 66 models uh, but uh, as they come in if it's something that you're interested in you have to move quickly on they just don't make for for the collector uh, that is looking for exclusivity uh, this is the type of model you want right here. And that first run sold out, but I've heard rumors uh, that there are some available right now, maybe in a couple of different colors as well. So it's a beautiful model. Uh, it'd be a great addition to your white model collection. I, I think 
this would be a great addition to any collection. I think it stands right up there with the resin models that are available. So I hope this has helped you. I hope you enjoy it. Um, let me know if you do. I look forward to seeing you again soon.